Thanks for registering to this self-paced online course on preventing self-harm and suicide, empowering primary health care providers. The Mental Health and Substance Use Unit of the Non-Communicable Disease and Mental Health Department at PAHO Headquarters in Washington, D.C., developed this course to ensure that healthcare providers and allied health have access to the appropriate knowledge, skills, and confidence to provide care for individuals at risk of suicide. I'm Dr. Claudina Ellington Cayetano, the Mental Health Advisor at PAHO, and I'm pleased to welcome you to this course. Suicide is a priority mental health problem. The economic and human cost of suicidal behavior to individuals families, communities, and society make suicide a serious public health issue around the world. Every year, globally, more than 800,000 people die by suicide, surpassing all annual global deaths from breast cancer. In the Americas, approximately 100,000 people die by suicide each year, and that number does not include or reflect the number of suicide attempts. For each suicide attempt, there are likely to be more than 20 attempts. This course is designed for general physicians, nurse practitioners, auxiliary personnel, students in medicine, nursing, public health and other related disciplines, and for those who have an interest in suicide prevention, particularly where there is limited resources. Non-special health workers play an important role in the prevention, early detection, and management of suicidal behavior. People who die by suicide are likely to have been seen in the month prior to their death by a primary health care provider. Using the WHO's MHGAP Intervention Guide version 2.0, this course aims to strengthen knowledge of the standard definitions of suicidal behaviors, the rates and burden of suicide in the region, the negative impact of stigma and discrimination on help seeking as well as the identification and understanding of risk factors and warning signs for self-harm. It consists of seven modules, each addressing a key component of suicide prevention. It is self-paced, flexible, and uses dynamic activities, including role plays and multiple choice questions to provide realistic examples of interventions. We are glad that you have decided to build your skills on a topic that affects many families and communities in our region. With all our best wishes for the work that you do.